All right. Can you do me a single favor? Actually, let me see if I can find it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, I sent it to Megan and Regina. I'll text it to you. I'm going to assume that you can hear me. Can I create any existing profiles? Don't care. Uh, Ladonia, you're going to die. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its oh, mystery. Right. But there's an outsider like yourself to Bonus begin. points if you turn off the lights. Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. So it begins in the trials, tribulations, and times of Carlin James Cauliflower. I have no idea if I made Colin originally for two else. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's just Colin. That's it. That's all he's going to be. Origin, milk toast, the lone son, the trouble son, you know. Colin's more of a waste of skin kind of guy. Let's... Oh my god. I'm going to make Colin look like this. And now... That's enough. Let's see if my dear friend Regin can join us. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream.
friends. What are you doing there? Oh God. Colin, run! Colin! <laughs> Colin, no! Oh, I'm dead. That my right, game's over. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. All right, I feel I, I awakened in what looks to be a Sefka's clinic. Never been here before. Let's see, a punch. Oh, karate chop. Look at that. Oh, a very strong punch, Colin. Is a whoa. Uh -huh. Creepy door. Creepy hallway. What isn't creepy about this place? Fear not, friends. For through these double doors looks to be a laboratory of sorts. Oh. Oh, that's. That's a mean doggo. Have at me, dog. Nope. Time to fuck. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> God, run. Oh, for the love of God. What are these folks doing? Ooh! Colin, Colin. <laughs> Colin, my friend. Oh no! It's over bullets, but I have no gun! What's down here? Blood vials? But whose blood's in these vials? Son of a bitch. Well, wow, this is a very nice carriage system. A gate over here. No. The stranger in the str- Oh! Nope! Oh, go, Colin, go. Oh! This. This is my home. You know. The burb. Yeah. Who put this lamp in the middle of the crosswalk? I did. Oh, my God. That guy does not like me. Rude neighbors. Rude, rude neighbors everywhere. Ah. Stranger, stranger still. Where the fuck did I wake up? <laughs> ah, Colin. This is... This fine place is called church. Here you'll be misled for years. Oh, what the fuck? Who just leaves a corpse here? A doll? That is lifelike. I don't like that. Don't like that. Are they threatening me? Oh, I'll accept a gift from the messengers. All right. Uh, hey guys, it's Matt here. Don't forget to slam that subscribe button, hit like, hit the bell so you get a notification every time I go online. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, go ahead and put in the chat what weapon What weapon should I pick, guys? The threaded cane, the hunter axe, or the saw cleaver? What are you feeling? This game is for you. Regina is absolutely right. One like, one prayer. That's all I need. If one of you prays for me, it's already too many. All right, sharp weapon it is. Cleaver. Oh. 
Very well then. So, I go in here. Just gonna equip this cleaver. Uh, very bloody, very angry, very snappy. <laughs> All right. Next up, another gift from the messenger. Ooh, a, a blunder bluster pistol. What say ye, friends in chat? What weapon will Colin smite the beasts with? Ah, the blunder! Colin will be making many of these later on tonight. <laughs> What do you have? Oh, a notebook! That's nice. I can't write. Ah, small child. Hello, Addy. All right, well, here we go. Here's a... Oh, here's a handicapped. He probably can't get down these stairs. My God, he's been trapped up here for years. Aha. Uh -huh. You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the Hunter's Dream. This will be your home for now. Thank you. I am... German. Friend to you, Hunters. Uh, you pleased to meet you, German. I'm... About now. I'm Russian? Don't think too hard about all of this. <laughs> Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. That sounds like something a, you know, a priest would tell me. What that's what, that's what I've heard. You'll get used to it. It's, will I, though? Oh, God. All right, well, look. This is very dreary. What are all of these trees? Oh, my God. All right, well, seems I should just go back out and kill a few bees. I don't want to go back to that sick room. There's a dog there, and I hate him. All right, well, here we go. Loading screens. The surgical long gloves. My God. Oh, the church. The church. All right, here we go, back where we started. Now, let's see what's inside this corpse. Pebbles. Get to use that there, and uh... All right, wow! Fuck you. Wow, you, you just gave up there, friend. Oh, well. Cowards! Cowards, a lot of them. You. Boy, eat a rock. Aha! Oh my god, I missed. And you. Ah. Yes, your shields hold me. They mean nothing to me. Oh, oh, look, it's... 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 The... Neighborhood watch. <laughs> well, I can't very well stone them now, can I? I guess I just have to. Nameless violence! Oh, the fire. Fire. Who? Oh, I forgot my gun. Alright, you guys want to fight? Let's, let's play with the big sword. You. Uh. All right. Uh, that's that's them. The stab over the needle. All right, I feel better now. All right, let's see what's down here. We can open up this gate with a nasty creep. Oh, and this gentleman come to harass me again, have you? 
over Colin's dead body. Wow, that is a strong stranger. I don't care about him at all. More blood vials, but whose blood do I keep picking up? Oh, no, no, go back to sleep. The homeless will not rise this day. Molotov cocktails. Who in their right mind would leave these out here for Colin to find and eventually use against other strangers? My god. Very well. Oh. Oh. Look at this chonker. This guy. This guy hurt me badly. Look at, look at that. Like, terrifying. My god. All right, well. Colin, back at it again. Wake up, boy. Ah, my god. The eldritch truth is simply this, friends. Fuck the police. You know what they say? Oh, pop out again. Do it. Ha-ha! Die. Stranger. What's over here? Oh, God. And that guy still didn't notice me. Wow, he's drunk. Oh, rip out his heart. <laughs> ah, Colin thrives on bloodshed. Little known to many of the people of this town, but knock on this door. Are you that outsider? Yes. Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Could you at least Come let me along, in? Will ya? What? What that is? This neighborhood sucks. God, could you imagine, like, having a child, bringing it here on Halloween, only to just be cut down in the name of a church by some random dude? I do kind of wonder if that's how these people feel right now, with Collins cutting them down and whatnot. Yeah. Nope! Thank you for your heart, and you for your donation! Stop hitting me with your fork. Yes, 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 yes. This is... This is how it goes. Colin, wandering the streets at night, nothing but a sharp blade and an unregistered gun in his hand. If you guys don't know, Yarnum, the city in which this game takes place, is just a large metaphor for Detroit. But oh. More violent vagrants. These people. A bloodstone shard. I would hate to have that running around in my veins. I don't know about you guys. Uh, Shit! You. You need to work. Cut you a lot. Because that's what Colin does. Alright. Colin, did you eat your cauliflower today? This guy didn't. Stop. Stop. Gun. Oh, this guy's still around. Alright, just get this damn myself the needle real quick. Feeling much better. Alright. Oh, just, a, just a friendly cross burning. Oh, you. Hey, you want some of Colin, huh? You don't want much of anything anymore. Boy. This is... This is a very strange cross burning. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you with your cute fucking speed. <laughs> All right, here we go into the fray. Cut down this guy because he's got a gun. Oh, another person with a gun. Oh God, is that an evil dog? Oh, I'm gonna stab myself in the leg again. No, dog. No. <laughs> oh God. 
fire indiscriminately. It's just me and you, bored boy. Come on, drop your board. Drop your board. Let's see. Let's see. You use that torch. So, as nice as this carriage is, I am pretty confident there's still a man with a gun on the other side of it. So, I'm going to stab myself to feel better, and then I'm going to run up here. Yep, that's a bullet. You can't stop me. I'm Colin. Nice to meet me. That sounded like someone was running at me, potentially? No? Very well. I'm gonna... The small brush fire over here, maybe I'll hear the voice of God! No, cold blood do. It... What does cold blood do? It's apparently just amalgamates and saturates into just a small pocket-sized form that I can just hold on to, I guess. What's in you? Oh, the blood fire. Who is just leaving these here? Colin. Destroyer of boxes. And, uh, homes. He's a home wrecker, but not in, like, the bad way. But there's uh, it's just a lot of care. And a beautiful fountain. Smog? Oh. Look at this big guy. What do you do? See if I can hurt you. But, oh, okay. So you just hear me now. Stop punching me with a brick, please. Yes. Give me your stomach. Yeah, 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 yeah. God. Colin thought he was going to get up for a bit. Terrified, Colin had almost wet himself. And, uh, that's a torch. Colin's gonna just go ahead and equip that, because everything's afraid of fire! And Colin's actually afraid of the dark. It's a terrifying thing in this game. Everything is dark. The entire game might as well take place in grayscale. Burn! The wife that Colin... the, the kind that Colin's real-life wife is terrified of. And by birds, I mean just any of them. Any bird. They terrify Stace. She hates birds so much. Let me take a quick peek at the chat. But my god. Yes, I, I will laugh at Harrow, but at the same time, god, the, the amount of respect I have for Harrow for just willingly allowing these people to just, you know, knock on doors and have skeleton raves. What am I talking? I, I would go to a skeleton rave. All right. Well, let's. I hear. Right, that's a gate. I don't hear that, but what I do hear. Ah, uh, dog. Looks like a like a big terrier of sorts. Oh, and there's a guy with a gun. Shit. Don't. Stop it! Stop! It, stop! It, stop! It, stop it! Colin, heal up. Colin. Yes! Yes! That was close, Colin. Now let's take out this mean man with a rifle. His dog. His dog is very aggressive. I feel bad for hurting all of these dogs, but a little bit less because they're all trying to hurt me. Realistically, given the given the state of things in this town, I'm you know lucky the the streets aren't just being roamed by packs of rabid dogs. That'd be terrifying. Oh my god, the streets are literally roaming with packs of wild giant dogs. That that guy noticed me. This is undesirable. Number one. God. Colin, no. Colin. Oh, Colin. Oh, Colin. Colin, no. <laughs> oh, Colin.
All right. Well, golly, you know what they say. Nothing like a little bit of hair of the dog to get you up and going in the morning. All right. Well, Colin, clearly what you need to do is just run right through this whole fucking city and get back to the dog that murdered your entire, like, family. By family, I mean that dog wrecked your shit, my friend. Just cut down these random people. You bored, boy? Now you're bored, boy. All right. Here we go. Come on, stranger danger, and I'm a dangerous stranger. Oh, I need my gun. I really need my gun there. Uh, thank God. Thank God for the blunderbuss. Can you imagine if I didn't have that thing? Like, I would just be defenseless in these streets. Colin, his innocence at risk, vulnerable in the dark city streets. Yeah, if there's anything Colin is, it sure is innocent, folks. Wandering around this pseudo Victorian nightmare hellscape. Just, just really bare in his soul. Really. Wandering around, doing his best to just, you know, stay out of trouble, keep his head down. He wants to go to university one day. He wants to go to college. Bergenworth College, to be exact, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is. Cut down that stranger, pick up the stuff off this corpse, run all the way over here, where no one else is anymore, run around here, somehow dodge all of that. I got shot! Oh my god. Well, you know, just, just like the streets of Detroit, that's what I say. Ah, uh, Colin. Colin, 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 Colin. My boy, we're just going to have to do better. Now that all those blood echoes are lost to the ether, though, what we can do is just kind of skip ahead and say, fuck it, let's jump down here and kill this man. And this whole group, hello, goodbye. You're all very nice gentlemen, I'm sure. This is a lot of people. But now that I'm up here... Look at that! A whole crowd, seemingly ignored by Colin, who simply just wants to go to cop. Oh, they almost shot me again. Colin! You done good, boy. You done... Done made your mother proud. She has no idea where you are. She's potentially dead. You haven't kept in touch, and that's on you. But for now, fight this dog. You know what? Fight, fight all of these people. It is all my fault, isn't it? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're better than this because now you're dead. Look at what you did to yourself. You played yourself. Played yourself right into Colin's hands. And now, Colin, totally aware that there are two daemon dogs right over there, is going to wander around back here and see if there's any goodies to pick up. He doesn't remember. It's been ages since he played this game, but I'll be damned if he doesn't enjoy it still. Oh, look at that! A bloodstone shard. Wonderful. That's a surprise tool that we'll use later. Now. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go. There are many things here that we can use. Like pebbles. And we can just roll into boxes and caskets galore. And what's over here, you say? A bloodstone shard! Alright, Colin, do your thing. Just drop down into the abyss and, well, pray. Alright, friends. 
If you look below, there are giant rats, and if you look across, there's a man thing with a torch, and what looks to be a carpentry saw. Oh, look, another one. Come here, boy. And now, he's in the drink. Now, one tactic that Colin has learned over the years is to shoot whatever comes at you rushing very quickly. And grab its stomach and just rip it out as your own. You want to take organs, not get them. You know, organ donors are for the weak and all. Now, where was Colin? He doesn't remember, it's been so long. <laughs> All right. Now let's just drop onto this thing. Yes! First time I've done that in the ages. A thick, cold blood. That's a thick boy. Kill this rat. Just punch it to death with your serrated saw blade. Colin? Oh, that's right. Colin's about to get a fashion episode. Oh, Colin. Oh, Colin. Okay, Colin, that was very, very dangerous. See, all of those corpses are alive. And that's, that's disturbing to Colin, who fell knowing that that was a possibility, that all of them could be alive, and all he could do was ignore it. So now, Colin's main goal is to find out where the hell this ladder leads, because he doesn't remember. It's... it's been ages, folks. Colin got shot again, and again! Almost a third time. Ooh! Ooh, fuck you! Said Colin, aggressively. Nope! Colin doesn't play that game, not with that stranger. Colin's gonna do a lot of things right now. All of them are running. <laughs> Oh, hello, friend. Nope. Now there's a secret pool here called a window that Colin will use to escape his friends. Unless they jump down the window with him? Good. Weird how they're mostly femurs, but they just, they just don't like to jump or use their legs at all. Colin's going over here to meet a special friend who's very creepy, and her name is Eileen the Crow. Oh. A hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Ah, just like Passover. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Thank you, bold Prepare hunters, yourself. Mark. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Well, I must admit, that's comforting considering I have done a lot of killing tonight. Still lingering about. Yes. A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. No, I'd just like to recruit you as a friend. Oh, the shake of Cape Feature. I am very cool. I'm going to swap that in right now. And, uh... Ha! I don't have a cape to shake off. But nonetheless, here we are, back at it again. Colin style. Just dropping corpses left and right. Dropping bodies. Getting bodied, dropping bodies. Oh, please just cut this. Alright, very good, Colin. Now, what we're going to do is leap to that guillotine and then drop down because that's a surprise tool that we're going to get right the fuck now. Wow, I did not expect that to actually work out for me. But here we are. And there I go. There I go again. On my own. A saw spear. Let's kill these rats. Because now... Colin can use a saw spear. It looks like this. You see the saw cleaver? You see the saw spear? It's long and dangerous, and it's like a curved, freaky fang. Colin's going to use that now. 
Yes, yes. Fall to Collins. The visceral attacks. The animalistic desires. All of which have to do with either obtaining, letting, or drinking blood. There is something back here. And all these all these boats that no one seems to use anymore. I wonder why. Okay. Okay, nope. Oh, you're still around. Madman's knowledge. Now, Colin has met many a madman in his day. All of them politicians. He drank their blood, too. Now, Colin, where wouldst thou go? Is there anything to be gained from traveling this way? No. Very well, all right. Shrewdly noticed, Colin. Now, if there was ever a time for mercy, Colin painfully ignored it. For example, heat down. Lots of lots of that. All right. Just get a just get a. Oh. Oh, okay, when they start throwing up Colin, Colin's not down for that. When they start spilling the viscera, Colin's gonna say no thanks and see you later. There's, uh, something here? Oh, it's a bloodstone shot. Look at that. Colin just keeps finding things. Oh, that was weird. That's a big pig in the distance. And, what, and you know what Colin does? Colin keeps kosher. So Colin's gonna just climb this ladder, avoid that gigantic demon hellbore, and uh, arrive here at this very special, very safe bridge. The entire thing is just totally safe. Not a damn thing to worry about because at the very end of the bridge, any minute now, there's going to be a big ball of fire. That's right. So Colin's gonna dodge that. And it's gonna kill his enemy. Look at that. Look at all of these corpses that Colin didn't even have to stress out about making. Alright, well, Colin also needs to discover an elevator. Colin will take this time to just notice how bloody he is. His whole cloak is saturated and. He's going to run out here where there are... Okay, two brick-wielding boys. Colin hates one thing, and it's having a brick shoved so far down his throat that he doesn't realize that he can't breathe anymore. So he's going to go up to this strange house, pull out his torch, and open this door. Ah, a strange man in a strange house. Well, Colin is now taking that house. Oh, what, what a poor strange man. Let's light him on fire. Oh, he's got a gun. No, it's no fun. Fuck you, said Colin, angrily, upset at being shot like a normal person would be. Anyone would be upset at getting shot. All right, good work, Colin. Oh, what's this? Ah, a two barrel hider. Yeah, that was the Lord of the Rings, bud. I'm gonna rob this guy next to, next to that old reed bar. And then we're gonna go down these stairs and out the other door that I'm about to open. Look at that! See, it was so easy, but if I tried it from the other side, they wouldn't let me. Nope, 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 nope. Sit down. <laughs> ah, thank God. And now, these old creaky gates? And a stranger. You must be a hunter. Oh, you must be a homebody. 
Not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of taking All right. Places. In well, this I instance, I'm going to hand my laptop to Stacy. But I'm willing to Why she needs it, I don't know. There's anything that can be done. I... <laughs> this time, whatever your reasons might be. I should plan a swift exit. Swift exit. But I'm not done really killing good. yet. Pale, but if it's the yarn of might not the hunt is on. Hunt is on tonight, yes. <laughs> Alright, well. Here's one thing that we're going to do. We're going to make Colin super strong. So uh, go ahead and put down in the chat if you think that I should focus on blood, magic, or beat down. These things are important, and your advice is well listened to. An abandoned dog. Can I even do this right now? I thought I could, I guess I can't. This was a word. Even the doll, okay, weird. I'm gonna repair this weapon. Repair that. Fortify a weapon. I'm going to fortify my saw spear. And not my saw cleaver. Because I I enjoy this. Very well. Blood it is, Meg. And blood shall it ever be. Alright, as soon as the doll wakes up, I can do that then. Until then, though, I'm just gonna pop right back out and start fighting and killing shit all over again because why the hell not? All right. And as soon as I plug my laptop back in, now that I've got the chat up, yes, I can stop stealing my wife's phone now. But more importantly, I can start taking the life from these people. Come here. All right, so now the most important thing about this game is the fact that there are large beasts about, many of which are strange and terrifying, the least of which is are those dogs. I don't enjoy those dogs, I don't want to fight those dogs because right now I'm what's called a wee bobby. So instead what we're going to do is skip past this big brick guy because everyone hates having a brick shoved down their throat and go right in here, where we are going to fight a nightmare. Ah, oh, look at that. It's the cleric beast, who hates fire. Shit. But he's very strong. He is. Fireball at it. Can't, uh, can't be having this, so more fire. More fire is called for. Alright, and once again, fire! He's gotta, he's gotta cut his legs until he runs away. By runs away, I mean it dies painfully. Ideally, too. Come on. Come on, friend. By friend, I mean you're not my friend. And look at that. There, we have a dead friend. I got a badge. 
That's my first trainer's badge. I might as well have gotten that from Brock, if Brock was a giant evil, like, Horus the Demon Beast. But I didn't, because Brock isn't real. Not like that. And now I can return to the Hunter's Dream, and I can put points into blood, as suggested by my friends. Very good. Oh, look at that. She's upright and standing. And... Hello, good talking. I am a doll. Here in it's damn right you are, doll. You. <laughs> God, you're pale. Honorable hunter. Kind of scary. Pursue the echoes of blood. I will. And I will channel them into your strength. Okay, and you will. You will hunt beasts. And I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. Oh, I'm sickly now, huh? What am I talking about? I'm talking Very to a doll. Well, let me st I shut my eyes. All right. Blood, blood. A little bit of, little bit of health. A little bit of endurance. Blood. Uh, let's do a little bit of skill. Yeah, round us out nicely. I'm a, I'm basically a ten across the board. And hunter. now, may, you... uh, may I find worth in the waking world? Joke's on you, I'm not worth anything. Alright, ba ba ba. The old hunter bell, very good. Very good indeed. Now, these things I usually set up as such. Beckoning bell. Uh, hunter's mark. Uh, da 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 silencing blank because blank uh, and then because all I've got now are those I will go ahead and set those right there you know what I'm gonna level up even further because I am incredible I'm going to use that Crush the blood, drink it up, yum yum yum. Use multiple cold blood to this one. Yum 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 yum. And I'm going to talk to the doll again and just spill Very all of my blood as though a mother bird to a baby. Just vomiting it straight into her face and telling her, Are you impressed? There we go. Now I'm level 13. I'm beautiful. Farewell, good hunter. Ah, uh, farewell to you as well. Now, I could go back to the Great Bridge or go back to Central Yarnum. That's where I'll go. Anyone else drinking right now? Anyone? <laughs> I would have to assume so, but, you know, I never know. Yee, ha ha! At a girl, Regin, what about you? Regin, sweet darling Regin. If I'm still muted, I do understand. Ah, them sour blues. We've all got those sour moments where we're blue. And that was, that was the goal of tonight. To invoke Colin's rage and avoid being blue. And instead, color ourselves red with the blood of strangers. There are a lot of people out tonight that just don't want to live anymore. And Colin's here for every single one of them. Isn't that right, Colin? Can't forget about the, the alley vagrant over here. Ah, provoked. Colin used shoulder tackle and then transformed into a sword. Ow. Stab. Oh, speaking of stabs. Colin does not like you. You bad, bad man. Alright, Colin, here we go. Ring around in the ship. Oh. 
Oh, and all you have to do is not get shot. That's all I had to do. And Colin. Hmm. Colin, you failed me. But at least I know who to kill now. So I don't know if you guys are listening just to the sultry sounds of Colin's inner monologue. Or if you're also listening to the sounds of the game, because the, the atmosphere that this game gives off is probably one of the most terrifying and beautiful things that I've had to experience on the PlayStation 4. The uh, other more terrifying things include Skrillex's remix to Kingdom Hearts 3, and I, I don't know, the blue screen? Blue screen of death? Ah, I am a foul beast. But that guy has a gun and deserves to die. We're just gonna fight a lot of people up here right now. No one's coming up this side. All right, well, I suppose I'll just hop down, or maybe I'll just drag this guy up here, because his glowing blue eyes 100% uh, mean that I should kill him. Ah, oh, fuck. Nick, I, I'm so sorry that your laptop went bad. That's awful. I don't feel bad about that dog, though. So, funny story, hidden behind all of these caskets is a broken down gate. But hidden behind that broken down gate is a house full of bitchy people having a party. I don't reckon you're from round here. Well, stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> I don't reckon you're... <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm not from around here. Fighting dogs in cages? Why, yes, Colin does everything. There's a dog that's coming for me somewhere. All right, it's cool, I know, but it, realistically, they can break out of any of those cages if they wanted to. It's not a commentary on dog breeding, it's just factual, because these dogs are terrifying and they get worse as the game goes on. Speaking of things that get worse as the game goes on, this woman that I get the option of saving or not. Do I know of any safe places? Not yet, I don't. And if I did, well, I'd probably tell you for a price. Punch it! Oh, okay, Colin. Or just don't. Shoot him in the face, Colin. Good job, Colin. You did it. You stole vials of his blood, seemingly without effort. Now this guy, this evil, evil friendo, we're gonna backstab him and rip out his spleen from behind him without him ever knowing. Uh, see? That's just the way it goes. I heard a gunshot. Oh, I saw a gunshot. ZZ Top or Slash, what are you doing firing a gun at me? I trusted you and bought your music on iTunes. Your whole album. Very well. Well, there is one direction we can go and that is straight the hell down. Wow, that actually would have hurt me if I hadn't landed where I did. 
But the whole goal of this is to poke our head around this core. Wait, damn it, I'm not in the right spot. Fuck. Ah, that's all right. So, Colin, seemingly distraught and confused as far as his geographic location, is going to run past all of these strange and devious corpses. And, uh, go for this ladder. You fucker. Go for this ladder again. <laughs> climbing, climbing, climbing inside of this dead sewer. Climbing, climbing, climbing. I still have a watch for whatever reason. No one really knows anymore. It does seem foolish to let my suspender stay ankle Stace. You're exactly right, which is why I was hoping to find a guy that would let me... Nope, we're taking the shortcut right here. That poor guy. Those poor several men who are foolish enough to not get out of the way of a giant tumbleweed of fire. All right, well, you know what they say. The bigger they are, the easier they are to shoot in the mouth. You. You asshole. I had it. I had that visceral. There it is. That's your tummy. Knock, knock. It's me with a knife. All right. Other interesting decisions are putting a ladder right here that I can just go all the way down to here. And it sounds like there's a lot of trudging going on, but that's actually a lie. See, this giant pig right here, who's unfortunately asshole I'm about to rip out, is, is evil. Yeah, see, giant demon pigs explode with light, and then suddenly, they, they just, that's all they leave behind. Just, just some blood for me. And now that I've got everything in that room, I don't ever need to come back down to the sewer ever again. Unless I fall. Climbing back up this ladder, as God intended. God, very cruel to put such a long freaking ladder, but nonetheless, they're not worth fighting right now. Instead, what I'm going to do is go right here, and I'm going to use the beckoning bell to see if I can have a friend tonight, because I hate this boss so much, I would just really appreciate a friend to join me. That's a fine note. Oh, and I discovered the chime of a small resonant bell, so someone's coming to help me. I will bow to you, and then onward to our first legitimate boss, friends, Father Gascon. It's this exact moment that we start to worry that maybe this guy, maybe is just a little bit corrupt. He's got an axe and he's coming straight for me. Nope, now he's going for my friend, but we're gonna go beat squad on him and hopefully not die, not die. Colin. Oh, man, I swear to God. Oh, I've got two cooperators. What a fantastic day. 
Let's let them do a lot of the work. How about that, friend? All right, look at this. We got two strangers fighting over my heart. Oh, it seems to me. Oh, it seems to you, eh? Oh, he's a gigantic human beast. Oh, God. And now, the final blow, struck by Colin and his friends. And now, bow to your friend, and bid him adieu. He pointed that way, I should go that way. So cooperators in this game make things very easy, but at the same time, you don't always get them. As a matter of fact, you rarely get them, and when you do, you get lucky like that. There are some people who have just continually been playing this game since 2016, and I was almost one of them. But then I discovered friends, shiny click clacks, and and campagnes. Campagnes that I wish I was playing tonight with my friends. The bubbly stuff, yes. But nonetheless, I am happy to be here. Happy to be showing my friends what I have enjoyed doing for years. Opening gates that make loud, creaky sounds. Something wicked this way comes. Its name is Colin Cauliflower. Gonna pull out a torch here so you can see all the intricate detail that go into this reservoir. There is nothing here except for a ladder. We out here. Regina, you are right. We here. We here, we all together. Tonight, we watch Colin break shit on the table. What's that? A big chest. Let's open it up. Ah, oh, a blood gem workshop tool. That's what they called me in high school. Matthew, sorry, Colin, the blood gem workshop tool. And now, with my creepy long piano player fingers, I open this door. Slowly, agonizingly slowly, to reveal that I was in a church the whole time. I take a drink to celebrate the fact that I have once again returned to church. Now, you may have noticed there's a weird thing to my right. We're going to talk to it, and then we're going to decide whether or not to kill it. This weird, sad creature, I don't remember its name, but I can talk to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside, waiting for it to end. It always does, always has, you know, since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. I just want to say that Animals I love that it said the screams of women folk and spelled it that way. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here in chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell him to come on over, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> now, spoiler alert, he seems untrustworthy, but he genuinely does want to help. I'm going to return to the Hunter's Dream now, and spill more blood upon this doll that somehow makes me a better person. And yes, men's screeches are terrifying. But your boyfriend and I do it well. Welcome, what is very well. I haven't Mr. heard Dan shriek, but I feel like if I did, I would actually be a little disturbed. Blood. Always oh, blood. Blood. Yes, blood, 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 blood. Alright, now Farewell, good let's leave. Oh wait a minute. Cold bloods. 
because I think, think, that there is something I can get inside here, inside this strange, weird little chamber that is actually super freaking cool. And if I can, I would like to purchase it. Threaded cane. Oh, I can buy the Kirk hammer, but I won't. But I are oh, the repeating pistol. That's the one that I wanted and the one that I'm not allowed to have. Selling items. Let's see what I can sell. I'm going to sell both of these because I don't need them. And now I can buy the repeating pistol. It looks badass. It is badass. It's a gigantic fucking pistol. It also like nearly quadruples the attack. Look at this steampunk fucking monster. It's got a whole water wheel on the side of it and no one knows why. A whole water wheel on my pistol, folks. It's just it's just angry. And now we'll go back through the stone to the cathedral ward. Meg, imagine a really big one of those. That was what I imagined Aerie walking around with the entire time. This is how Colin Cauliflower talks. <laughs> Haven't you seen my videos? <laughs> no. Alright. In other news, my marriage is shattered. <laughs> We're gonna go out this way. There's a strange man holding a blue lantern. I'm going to cut him. He stabbed me with his staff. I didn't like it, so now I get to shoot him in the face. Oh, another strange man with a staff. Let's shoot him. Let's also rip Elijah's. I grabbed his no-no spot. I have some regrets. Let's find out if there is... Ah, uh, yes, Meg. Let's get in the light here so I can show you this shiny fucking double-barreled pistol with a water wheel on the literal side of it. See if I can use this gravestone to get the up angle of it. It's basically the same. Alright. Thought there was a top hat somewhere in this mess. There isn't. But you know what there is. There's a big boy. That's what happens if you go to church every day. You are big and strong and get really mad at anyone who doesn't believe in your faith. So now I'm going to leave. <laughs> I'm going to go down here and I'm going to try my best to assault everyone around this campfire. How did that not kill that dog? More at 11. There is something over here. Cold blue do. What are you? Molotov cocktail. Oh. Nice to meet you. The only downside to this gun is that it fires two bullets at once. Just kidding, that's not a downside. I can search this corpse too, and I will in a moment. 
Now, if memory serves, there's a man with two angry dogs up here, and he sticks them both on me. Right about now. Shit. Stop it. Stop it, dog. And now we go. Go for the strange man by a tree. And we cut him down. And we take all of his remaining bullets because that's all he had to offer us. We open this door. We go inside, break left. I mean, break right, break left. And then we take whatever this man had on him, which was his knowledge. Also, he was insane. Pull the big lever because why the hell not? And then we're going to go over here where there's strangely just a man who believes in God. Look at that. Isn't he weird praying like that? You're a beast hunter, aren't you? That's right. I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. I'm going to be honest. Protégé I'm not going to call you Alfred. Garrys. I'm going to call you Captain hunter Sideburns, Bloods. a.k.a. So, Mutton the Chop. Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? I don't know what you've learned, but I don't want to fight you, so I'm going to agree to cooperate. Very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Is it money? Are these tithes that you've accepted from... Oh. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. Fiery paper. May the good blood guide your way. And the prayer emote. I'm going to go ahead and assume that these are chapters of the book known as your Apocrypha. And then I'm going to leave you there to just let you kind of mellow out, whatever. Now, I'm going to fight this dude for trying to sneak up on me and being bad about it. And then, we're going to run right here where there once was a, a crypt, now there is Colin. Colin's going to run down here into the Undercroft. It's kind of like the, uh, the underside of a crypt. And hope that there's not a big mean dog down here that would... Oh god, that sucks. But the nice thing is, big mean dogs can't fit through these doorways. They just look, there, look like fools sitting there until Colin baits them. And then they come a-running. And then he just cuts them up a little bit. And then he just pokes them with his fire stick. He pokes them with his fire stick and they die. You know, for a dog person, they were much more muscular than Colin. Colin's going to break up on all these boxes and find nothing. And then he's going to backflip over the stairs. Completely missing a lot of them. Go up here and... That body had an antidote in it. A whole dote of ante. Now there's a, there's a torch. But Colin's learned one thing. If you do enough front flips... You find things. He's just not sure where all of the front flips should be done. Maybe that was all of them. I'm not going to return to the Hunter stream just yet, but before we enter this area, I am going to use the restroom, so I will be right back.
All right, here we are, back at it again. Stronger than ever. Unfortunately, we can't read if we can only inspect what this door says. The town is long abandoned. Hunter's not wanted here. I can read that, and I can just open the door anyway. Shearing the paper in twain as I do. Sounds like a threat. And Colin responds to threats only with violence. What are you? A terrifying little thing, and I'll, I'll take your take your corpse. I'm gonna keep the uh, keep the torch on, but now. All right, so we've got five people in here now. I can't wait for all of this. What I can wait for is for this weird dude to creep out from the left. There he is. Fire, because you hate him. Long stab for the win. Flipping that spear back in and dropping down. In case you're joining us now and your name is Richard near the best boy, this is influencing my campaign, but it is not my campaign. <laughs> I I don't I really have no grounds for that. I'm just love my friends. Ladders in this game, am I right? Alright. Let's take that. Let's run around here. Run around, run around. And now, you want to keep the fire stick out. Because there are ghouly people like that that blend into the landscape. But they're afraid of fire which is really an evolutionary weakness on their part. However, they will also come at you from anywhere, and they are still afraid of fire. You kill a vagrant. Keep it around here. Don't remember what you are, but I'm gonna pick you up anyway. Bloodstone shards, great, good, got it. All right, now, uh, if you remember that strange man who threatened me, he's actually on top of that watchtower, and he's he's going to threaten you me again. And merciless, half cut with blood, as the best hunters are, which is why I must stop you. What now? You might have seen something that looked like Gatling gun fire, and that's because it was Gatling gun fire. I'll explain momentarily right after this short slaughter. Stab him in the face with fire. Stab him in the face with fire three more times, and then he crumples. Because evolutionarily, he is afraid. Oh, you! He just punched me right in the jaw. Colin does not take kinds with the jaw punching. All right. Now. Typically, this is a spot where I sometimes die, but that's because 
I don't think these guys into like fighting me. Yeah, see that that's that's some dude on like the top of a church with a Gatling gun. I'm just gonna beat you down. And then a dick. But what he isn't is stupid. These guys are stupid. They're sleeping when they could have been hurting you. Now Colin's a little bit stupid for not, not dealing with this properly. I hope you don't like walls because that guy's going to bust out of one. Blood tinged gemstone, the first of its kind. What? Nope. Now he's gonna throw up on me. I'm super poisoned. I'm gonna do is try and heal up because I forgot to equip me antidotes. I'm just gonna eat one of those now and feel instantly better inexplicably. I'm also gonna harvest this corpse and then we're gonna do a dip right around here to pick this shit up. Nope, 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 nope. I forgot, I forgot to see that gathering gun. So now now we've reached what's called a bad situation in which Colin has to climb this ladder, but they can also climb the ladder. So Colin is faced with a choice of waiting here for them or climbing the ladder again and facing down with the guy who has a Gatling gun. Colin's going to fight these guys off because that's what happens when you fuck with... He got up. He got up and started climbing the ladder. I thought he would... Alright. Colin's gonna wait for round two. <laughs> you, ghost man. You almost got me. Is he actually still coming? All right, well, now that Colin is done with that noise, he is going to run right up here and challenge the stranger to a duel. And by a duel, Colin is going to try and shove him off of... I just realized Colin's not at full health, and he's going to need that. He's going to need to be at full health. To just, just be a better person than this guy. So here we go. Climbing. I oh, okay, and he just, he just beat the shit out of me because he well, shot me in the gut with a gun first. You dream, give some thought. That's, that's unfortunate. And like, I gave it a lot of thought like he said, but it just wasn't enough. It just wasn't. The guy's very strong. The guy's very strong. And I'm going to be super strong too. Because Colin does many things well, but giving up, that's not one of them. Colin also doesn't really know the best way to do to go about this, so he's just gonna run and like try to get back there, avoiding Gatling gun fire. And also this dude's boyfriend, who you guys haven't met yet, but he is very much alive, very much real, and definitely at the bottom of this 
ladder that I just avoided taking. So that's that's one thing that Kala has to deal with on a regular basis. Also, all this smog, all of these weird, creepy friends. Colin's just taking them down. How is he able to make that angle? Colin is spooked and climbing the ladder again. You know what they say, folks, you can't climb a ladder with your hands full of dick. I hear a newcomer. What the? Heal up again, I you I suppose. Thought I died, didn't die, punched the dude to death like a meteor. Something died. Oh, and I got my blood echoes back. That's very good. Now what we gotta do is just run up and beat squad this guy as soon as we possibly can and if i don't get it this time i'm just going to continue onward that's it and he's gone that's all i wanted from this area he is deader than a doornail or a, one of the dogs that i murdered earlier now we can continue safely throughout this area without the risk of being shot at by a gun that shouldn't exist Other things we can do? Kill this vagrant. Like so. Just rip it out, somehow he explodes that way, and then tumbles like a rag doll down there. You guys see this nice, pretty church area? It's not about to be nice anymore, because Colin likes fire. And if there's one thing that Colin enjoys burning, it shouldn't be churches, but it is. So that, that's just kind of how Colin rolls, just aggressively not feeling like church this Sunday. Is it Friday? It's Friday, that's right. Well, they're not going to be having this church for much longer at all, in any day, in any way. Walking along the beams very carefully because, you know, dexterity is important in all things. Not just your stats, Matt. A Molotov cocktail because I'm a, I'm a good mate. That's, so that's the thing that's screaming. That, that right there in that corner. I hate it. And you know what? I suppose I should probably kill it. Where's that? Where's that Molotov? There we are. Oh, that's not... There it is. So now that I'm feeling better... Oh, there's more of them. That's right. Joyous day, joyous day. Are you around the corner from there? Whoa. All right. Look at them getting cut. Something just freaked out. Oh, God. Intercepted. All right. Temperate blood gemstones. Nothing. Nothing is going to be left alive in here. 
and torch and there's ta 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 nothing is going to do after I have to dollars. Damn it, I was so close. Ah, the salt. Pure salt. Pure salt. Time for another drink. Yeah. Also, I've got to be honest with you guys. The first time I played this game, it took me like three days to get to this point. So I'm exceptionally proud. Uh, just, just ready, ready to you know beat these guys down because I can do that now. I don't have to worry about the Gatling gun coming back and just wrecking my ever-loving shit. Come here, damn you! Kill in order is effective. Okay. It's probably a kill. If I did seek it. Alright. So there's fire. That guy's still right there. All right. Look at that. They're both dead now. And I can shoot that corpse. Very good. Very good indeed. All right. Now, for something that's maybe a little unorthodox. I'm going to drop down here. Drop down here. Avoid those birds. And drop down here. Despite how much it hurts. Because now Colin wants a different weapon. And Colin's going to get it. By Jove. Oh, so it doesn't want to be crept up on by several freaks. Stop it. I'd say you're better than this, but I don't know you that well, and also, you're dead now. Damn it. And that's a coffin. All right, so I am doing it. Regina, you, you're gonna make me blush all the way over here in my separate domicile that I hate that I'm trapped in. I love you, Space. I love you so much. We should see other people because it's just been too long. I don't mean, don't, don't look at me like that. I just mean that I love you and I'm... Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, she thought she had to kill me for a second. That's fine. All right, folks. Now, Meg, there's another weapon in here that I suppose that I missed. But even better, I get a costume change. Look at me now. I look like a badass. And if memory serves, the weapon that I was looking for is down here, right there. It's a literal fucking rifle spear. And I'm going to use that for a little bit, because this chick 
chick, boom. Now I've got a torch so I can see. But, uh, you know... Ow. Fuck. <laughs> ha Yeah, this is a shotgun attached to a spear, folks. It doesn't fuck around. Oh god, that guy, that guy though. That guy, I just dislike immensely, because that's, that's the boyfriend of the guy who I just made jump off the side of the cliff. Um. Weird, sad story, really sad story. I just don't want to deal with that dude. You, on the other hand, I will just ruin the hell out of any day. How are you still alive? I just got shot. I'm going inside now. Now, if I were a betting man, and I am... That's better. Stay down. There we go. Here's here's a place where I can drive. Jokes on all of you. Now quickly, wander through the plane to get to me. Okay. That's fine too. That's just totally fine. Gonna drop down here, dip out, dive and dodge. All the way to this big ass ladder. That I know for a fact will lead to my safety. Hello, Addy. You want to my lap? Okay. Now I can open that door, and now I can just avoid going through it, because there's a man out there with a gun and a knife that I don't want to deal with right now. Instead, I'll just fight very close quarters with a bunch of strangers, healing myself as I go, and I'll just get my, I'll just get wrecked by strangers at the bottom of the stairwell. Damn it. Had better days. K Kinky is, is, you know, that's one way to, to put it. I mean, I've, 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 ladder play has never been a forte in the past. But I, you know, it works for some. Now, let's find out what's stronger. It's probably going to be this weapon. Although, this one I like because it's got a gun on the front of it. So I'm going to stick with this. Any, anyone disagree with that? Also... Stop hurting me. I'm better than you. Ugh. Always gun indeed. Run and gun? 
Possibly. Alright, now, survey says, can I dodge gun-wielding, knife-toting boyfriend? He's right here. Looks like it's a yes. Now, who killed me and took my blood? No one. My blood's right here. Good. Good. It is right where I left it. Now, before I go onward, I think what I'm going to do is return to the Hunter's Dream so that I can actually vomit more blood up onto the porcelain doll that, again, somehow makes me a better person. If you guys see any weapon up here that you're really feeling, let me know, and I can, uh... You're almost at the singing phase of drinking. Matt, do I need a chorus? I could always use a chorus, Meg. If you would like to hop into the PlayStation chat, or whatever, I can invite you and we can both talk. It'll be great. Also, Regin, I hope you're drinking and having a great time because you're a good person and you deserve a good time. Hunter. What is it? Oh, ah, well, if you're just playing the capital with those other well, lads, well, that's fine. He is allowed to do so. Uh, what we're going to do is bump up that, bump up that, and lots of blood. Maybe one less blood. And that will be that. We're so good. So good. Look at us go. Farewell, and now. I'm going to boost this rifle spear. Rifle spear is boosted. Repair that. Repair the torch. Whoop, repair the torch. The three blood echoes. Three whole blood echoes. And we're going to put something inside this. Something inside this to make them just outright stronger. And now, click, click, boom, off we go to make everywhere a tomb. Fuck. Wait a yeah, I've got... Oh, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. I want to buy this hand lantern because it makes me feel safe at night. I'm also going to buy several blood vials because they only get more expensive as the game goes on. So that's going to be my hand lantern. You're going to be the beckoning bell. And I'm gonna turn this on. Look at that. Look at that. Neat little, uh, neat little effect there. Old Yarnum. Off we go. Tombs with the Rave Skeletons. Va o Lance. Regina, you are so dead on. It's ridiculous. It's like you know me. It's like you know Colin. Stacy, that's empty. I suggest you fill it with a lot, like just more alcohol. 
All right, here we go. Trucking along. Did you overfull? You gotta sip it up. I missed this. What are you? You're blood vials. You're a lot of blood vials. I just bought a shit ton for no reason. Man. Oh yeah, yeah, now that's what I call music, volume 97. Colin song. Shit. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Got it. Meg says, chug, 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 chug. And Colin says, relentless slaughter of innocence. And signed it. Get down and dirty with the goon squad. The goons are my victims, and the squad is simply me. All these birds are dead. They fell off the side. Colin cares not for their plight. Myself and make myself feel better. Let him die. Take his blood vials because that's what I call music. getting the hang of this spear again. It's shorter than I remember. But it hurts just as much as I wanted it to. Which reality is the whole goal. Now let's slip slide and slop our way down here. Don't remember where I died, if I died, or how. But the point is my spear. This may look like smoke, but there's a body. Several. I'm gonna use that right now, because coming up, we got wolf people. And they're just freaking miserable. So you 
you know what I do? I'm out of Molotovs. Do I have knives or anything? I do not, but I've got fire paper, but I don't want to use that. Ah, oh, two more people. Fantastic. Yeah, that's right. You can come for me. That's guy. I won to that one. That was very Michelangelo post. Hey, look at that. Whoa, wait a minute. I heard that guy yelling. Oh, he had, he's doing a yell. Let's try and shoot him. Yeah! Not so scary now, are you, wolf people? This is not the way I'm supposed to go. That's a big door that I don't get to open for a very long time. But nonetheless, here we go. This is the old city. This is the downtown Annapolis of Yarnum. There we got plenty of buildings, lots of, lots of dumb shit going on over here. So dumb, you might not have noticed that there's a wolf right here, humping that window. But Colin noticed, and Colin has a pebble that he just squandered, and squandered again. He just keeps slamming them into the ground. Why, Colin? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> On all levels, it's <laughs> reliable. All right, and here we go. Just getting to this corner, and suddenly, fuck you! You wolf piece of bullshit! Don't run! Don't run! I've got gun. Come on, do it again. Gun. That's what you get. You get shot in the mouth, and then I rip your jaw off. Because Colin knows nothing if not violence. Now what Colin's going to do is rob this church. I don't think there's anything on this ground floor. Let me double check. Nope, not even corpses in those boxes. hole in the ground. There's nothing through that hole. Now in here, there's a body and another body that's about to get body. Uh, someone just messaged me. I'm sorry, I... Alright, I know. Did you... Oh, baby girl, come here. Alright, you... Where are you gonna are you gonna lay down again? Ah, yes, finding the softest part of my fat that you never fail to point out that I have. Thank you, Adelaide. Thank you so much. Ah, creepy door? Creepy first area. What's up here? A body with fire paper. Alright, and now we go outside. Knock knock? No, that door is hard shut. Ah. 
you. You may be big, but you're also dead. You may be a wolf, but just call me Rapunzel. Without asking me why. Okay. Body viable. Body viable. What do you have for me? Bullets? For my rifle? Thank you. Ah, wait, what are you? Where are you going, friend? Don't go oh. wait, yes, I got him. He had shots for me. Alright. And now if you guys remember, Colin once fought a dog. Rapunzel's fighting wolves because she is beautiful. Just like Colin. Colin is beautiful. I'm going to summon a friend. And then you know what I'm going to do? Summon another friend. Right outside here. Oof. The vile blood hunter Alfred. You guys may remember him as Church Boy. His rifle is actually just a small cannon kind of tough to tell because it keeps turning towards me, but yeah, look at that. Neat little cannon gun. Ah, and I have a friend. Perfect. Who are you? Show yourself. Show yourself. All right. I'm going to bow to this dude because he's dressed like a fancy gentleman. And now... We go inside here, and start the fight with a very wet dog. Also known as the blood-starved beast, this guy just hates living. Because Colin's got friends. Firebreaker, firebreaker, there we go. Oh, I can't use fire paper. That's fine. Evil wet dog. Yeah. Let's go deep down this one dog. All of us, together as a unit. An animal collective, as it were. Alright, so he spit poison all over me. Not appreciated. But he's dead. And I got a Pathumaru Chalice, and now I'm going to thank this gentleman again for his time, because what a winner. What a winner. What a gentleman winner. I'm going to light this torch in his honor, and then we're going to... Wait a minute. I... I guess I was poisoned the entire time. <laughs> I mean... I mean, like, it's... They're right there. Like, nothing happened. But, like, that was... Just an extremely strange sequence. 
So I, what happened there was I was poisoned from the fight because, like I said, he spit up poison all over me. He kind of sprayed me with it. Very rude. Kind of like a wet dog shaking his hair, except for the, the wet was poison. And the dog was just pure hatred incarnate. Very well, let me... So, weird, weird shit. Just odd shit all over the place. Alright. Put all those blood echoes there. Good hunter. And uh, then we're going to go right back out into it. The Church of the Good Chalice. The Cathedral Ward. That's what shit. I need so many blood echoes. Aren't we? But that's alright, because I can get those. It's only a matter of time. You guys ready to hear this kitten whine because I want alcohol? That was precious. I'm going to put this in the group because I just got the perfect picture of a very sleepy Adelaide <laughs> as she lays across my lap. <laughs> oh god, it's in the group. Enjoy, enjoy. Regina, thank you. I, I honestly do hope you guys are enjoying this because I really like this game, like, a lot. And I like you guys even more. And I just really, I really want to make sure that you guys are having a good time. So I'm going up here because this is a, this is a, a spot called the church where people, people have guns. Huh? Oh my god, I should tell everyone to just watch me stream. What'd you say? Oh, yeah, no, that's true. So Stace... Yeah, Stace and I got into a, a brief argue uh, over whether I should stream Bloodborne or she should stream Farm Simulator 2019. I... I told her that the saga of Colin, Colin Cauliflower waits for no man and uh that she would be better served playing that on her own time she agreed and this whole building is a hexagonal tower the likes of which the world has never seen or cared about also in hexagonal towers is this really weird drop off that puts me in like the basement of downtown annapolis but Yeah, if you guys would actually watch that, Stace would absolutely stream that for you guys. I I guarantee freaking see it. Alright, so now that that little dude is dead, I'm going to search his corpse, and then we're going to do what's called the old rigmarole, where Matt falls down a tower forever. The best way to explain this is there is a set of doors that I really need to get to. And I don't exactly remember how to get to them per se. Okay, so I got to the doors. I just didn't make it alive. <laughs> ah, fuck. But that's all right. Because the nice thing is, I... That's something I should do in a little bit. I shouldn't do that right now. The only thing I get that from there is a third of an umbilical cord. 
I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Back up the stairs. Not into the pit. And turn on your little, tiny little lantern there, Colin. We gotta get you a better hat. I just decided. Alright, go ahead and upvote in the chat if you think Colin deserves a better hat. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prep for my failure just in case. Oh. Fuck you, man with gas. Thank you for your patronage. And get bent. All right, here we go. That's a dead dude. Colin, come on, man. Regina, did you just dab in the chat, or is that a duck? <laughs> oh my God, Stace, I need you to, I need you to look at this. So she's just letting me like play with her fucking feet. So Addie's like still draped out over there, and I'm just drumming on her little paws, and she's just not fighting it because she's so tucked. Her goddamn feet. than all of your bullets, it's Colin. Angrier than all of your bullets, it's Colin. Now Colin's gonna go inside here. Not actually inside there. He wants to duel this man properly. Alone. Right there. You're dead. Oh my god. That dude, that, that was just so salty. <laughs> Color me impressed, AI. Color me impressed. Color me furious. Color me cauliflower. Lord <laughs> me. All right, this time we're just going right in there. We're going to start a full-fledged bar brawl on the stairwell. And you know what we're going to do it with? We're going to do it with fire paper. Fire paper, I mean this. Arson. Outright arson. Yeah, that's right. I just went completely ultra instinct there, and I, I, I'm pretty proud of myself right there. All right, yeah, burn it down, just like the patriarchy. That's what we do. We go upstairs and we burn it down from the bottom up. There's another dude in here. Wait. 
Stop getting shot, Colin. 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 <sighs> Amazed. Brilliant. My ultra instinct wasted by a paraplegic with a Gatling gun. Can't believe it. We've seen it all, folks. We laughed, we've cried. Fire paper worked out, but realistically, I, I like the rifle spear too much to not stick with it. Fear my blindness. Don't we all? But that's why Colin's got sunglasses, because he's so bright. Colin, I swear. Of all the things that I have asked you, not dying is paramount. Skipping all these people. Unless they want to come up here. This guy did. Slow and steady, stabs from the death. Alright. Now that I've provoked the man with the riding saber, let's see if he can come down these stairs. He can, and he came to his death. Get him, Colin. Fancy dress for a cripple. <laughs> Got him. He's not going to come back from that one, guys. And now, if memory serves, there's a big dude around here. Maybe not. Yeah. There he is. There's the large man. If memory serves, large men also fear fire. Colin. For shame. He got bricked. Bodied. Cause he's a brick. Da -na -na, puncher. God, I'm sad. All right. 
Now, I thought that guy didn't like fire. I think it's just the pain. Like, he doesn't like pain. I don't know. It's tough to tell. He's still alive and I died. But the difference is, I came back. I am angry. Now, what I'm gonna do is kill this cripple, but not the next one. Right, crank your little gun. It means nothing. Let's see. Did anyone follow me out here? No? Good. I'm climbing this ladder now. The sky and the cosmos are one. By the choir. Meg, is it you? My chorus? I don't think there's anything trudging around in there. But inside here... Oh, look at that. Little play doctor mask on. Meg, tell Richard I found his friends. Don't tell him I killed him, though. The Radiant Sword Hunter badge. Alright. And what's through these creepy doors with lots of fiery urns? No one knows. It's locked. This whole trip has been for nothing. Just kidding. But one thing I do intend to do is to get my blood echoes back. The best way to do that is by dropping down where the big guy isn't. So that means waiting for him to leave and then wrecking that paraplegic around the corner. Wait a minute. Well, considering that guy didn't have the blood echoes I thought he did, that's fine. We can start fresh with no shame, no embarrassment, nothing. But yeah, if, uh, if my poor performance so far hasn't been indicative of one thing, it should be indicative of the fact that this game is relentless, but so rewarding when you do it well. This is one of the Dark Souls games, and it's widely regarded as the best one. I think it's the best one, and thereby my opinion can't be wrong. If they ever make a Bloodborne 2, I will be first in line. I will probably pay, like, a bunch of money for the game. Stace will be upset, but not leave me. And, you know, we'll all live happily ever after, after I get out of the Bloodborne coma that I'll be in for months. Now, about those doors. So what I'm aiming for are those ropes. I missed him. <laughs> I gotta be honest, streaming for like even two people 
is wildly more calming than playing this solo because I would be frustrated. Um, also, yeah, Meg, I've got Horizon Zero Dawn. Stace and I haven't decided who's going to play it. I thought it was Stace. Are you going to play it? Stace is going to play it. I'm going to watch. It's going to be a heckin' great time. And uh, then, yeah, we're probably going to be in the same boat as you. Honestly, very realistically, this stream could turn into anything tonight. I just wanted to see if he'd look at me. He did. He was sad. Alright, so... I feel like there was one drop that I was supposed to do prior to that drop. I just walk? I just walk like right here? Nope! Nope! Thought it was. And Meg, that's not true. You're great at D&D &D too. Meg, you were right. I shouldn't have walked there. So I got a feeling that we're going to get it this time. You know why? Because this time I'm going to have a torch and a big spear. Stabbed the stranger. Evaded the vagrant. Dripped the drop. And now we're gonna see what happens. Like convinced. Please, damn it! <laughs> All right, we're just gonna take it slow. No, no, this is just for friends. My friends. Our friends, you know. Oh, yeah. 
That's it. We made it. And now, everyone gets to see the secrets. Does this look familiar to anybody? Hmm? Maybe uh, missing a couple of gravestones here, a dead doll right here. Mm -hmm. Weird, weird. No geriatric stranger. Oh god, there is a doll though. An abandoned doll. One third of umbilical cord. You thought I was kidding. I wasn't. I've, I've been sorrier in the past, but, oof. Thrilling, chilling, and strange. All of those words describe Colin Cauliflower and his adventures. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Yes, Regina, your home planet is a burning church. <laughs> All right, and now for the finale. I present to you all this weird fucking beast thing. That I don't want to turn around and see me. Take it! Take it, Colin! Nope! Ah, oh, thank god. Okay, that thing is terrifying because it can just choose to breathe fire whenever. But, thankfully, I just didn't let it breathe at all. A decision I am profoundly happy with. Also doesn't look like there's anything here. Let's go on through. Oh yes, downtown. Otherwise known as Bird Town. You know, like Baltimore. Wait a minute. Did I just get a rumpled hat? Would that be an upgrade in any way? A little bit. Look at me go. Looking like I'm going to a fish concert. <laughs> oh no. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I do not actually want to be taken by that guy just yet. These guys are the things of nightmares. There are bodies in that bag. Oh, I wouldn't make a bad. Shit. Shit. Alright. Now that he is dipped out of my way. Oh my god. Oh, what a terrible city. Shit, this is where I started. Alright, 
Panic time over. Uh, yes, but like for different reasons. Fuck. Okay, well, now we get to see a part of the game that I didn't intend to show you guys yet. Assumedly. This might not be true. Uh, we're gonna find out if I got body bagged or not. I don't think I did, though. Because I think I have to beat Vicar. You're gonna wake up in that cell. If I, I swear to God, if I wake up in that cell. Yup, shit. Alright, well. Gang, now I'm the body inside the bag. Gang, I can't tell you how disconcerting this was the first time it happened to me. Considering they literally just put me inside a crypt and left. So if you leave her be, she becomes something just utterly terrifying. Uh, there are three people like that in this game that just like, regardless of whether you... Oh shit, Stace. Yeah, but I didn't think they were... Well, I get you know, this is... this is Yargul. But nonetheless... Yeah, we'll get there. Oh we'll... So you, strange, deadly creature. Okay. So, now we can trick them. Because they're too tall to come down here. Yeah, if, if you guys have questions about this game, type them in. I will answer them, like, without fail. I cannot tell you how much I have done in this game, or, like, all of that good shit. All of that good-ish. So now what we're going to do is light this torch in front of the man who trapped his head in a cage. We are going to not return to the Hunter stream. Fuck, I do not have enough things for this yet. Okay, okay, he is he's just gonna continue to hit me. I like, I even told you guys there's a cheat way around this and then I just like, didn't. Come on, come on bud. Ha ha! Ha ha! Get pissed off. Get pissed off. Come on. Pursue me a little faster. Or don't. That's fine too. So, Bloodborne. 
is the title of this game. The idea is that blood ministration combined your healthy blood as an outsider with the corrupted blood of the people of Yarna. Bloodman? So, the whole concept is that the healing church pushed blood ministration as a way to raise mankind closer to the gods and the formless Odeon. But what they didn't realize is that they were further spreading the disease of the beast, which is what you know caused all of these people that I killed in the first few levels to become like grotesque feral humans. So the healing church, not realizing that what they were doing was wrong, uh, kind of just continued to do their thing. And then groups, like some that we'll meet later on, um, began to see it as a problem. And the hunters are one of those groups, one of whom uh, we have met already. R uh, Richard, Richard could very well be a bloodborne. Uh, born of blood and blood he shall remain but the uh, the idea is that you are seeking an end to the plague like the the, the blood plague the you're seeking an end to the beast which is kind of the, the point of the game so to speak How we do that is uh, very, it, it gets pretty meta, but like in a really neat and good way. No you don't, weird witch woman. Now I'm down here, and I am made to believe that I'm safe, even though I'm not. Um, <sighs> yeah. So there are a couple of main groups. The Healing Church. The Vile Bloods. The Hunters. And... Uh, probably the old hunters. The old hunters and the hunters being two distinct groups because one of which uh, are the fallen hunters. The old hunters are the ones that truly went into the nightmare, which is the uh, the source of the the uh, the bloodborne plague and they succumb to it. So they are hunters that have fallen to the curse, or the, uh, the plague. Uh, one of whom we killed, uh, Garman. Garman was an old hunter, but realistically, he was on the newer side of things. There are other hunters that we will meet, that are uh, less inclined to honestly just be good even at all. And then there are some that really don't care about the entirety of the situation. He just kicked me through a fucking fence. And yeah, Meg, there there are some enemies that just have outright horrifying screams in this game. Nope. Shit, you got me. But I got him, joke's on him. Now I get to fight a boss that I really didn't want to have to fucking deal with right now. Because I only have 
Three. Count them. Three healing vials. Now let's see if we get a player, because that would... Oh god, that would be great. Ugh. So, who we have here is Defector Antel. No one knows who he is. Like, I've looked up lore for him, everything, no one's got a clue. Somebody join me. Realistically, this is going to be one of the harder bosses to find anyone willing to join you. Purely because this is a weird boss. Like, that no one really likes to... Uh, Dark Beast. So you can't really... Well, I guess you kind of can. That big furry mass there. That, uh... That's the boss. But it's made of lightning and bones and fur. Church, yeah. <sighs> Alright, well... Fuck it, I mean, I, I don't think I'm gonna get anybody. Which is a pain. What do I got here? You know, I could just leave, but that would be, be giving them too much credit. Alright, we're just gonna... Just gonna go right on in there. So this is Dark Beast Paul. Ideal to say the least. But the nice thing is, we don't actually have to fight him. I can just choose a different boss to fight. Someone who I know will actually have someone by them. The only downside is, I need about 10,000 blood echoes and I don't feel like getting them. So, what we're gonna do is just beat the shit out of a bunch of church going people and rob them. To think, ain't that right, Amelia? All right, Cathedral Ward time. Then. thought it couldn't get any better than this, but may I introduce to you Tall Church Boy. Alright, we've got a big ass bell and no friends. And Stabby McCrowbrain. That's what I do to crows. Uh-oh.
Oh shit, I also just realized I gotta I gotta do better on the whole uh health thing. Like I said, I gotta do better on the whole health thing. Maybe I'll just go back and buy a couple of health things. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go ahead and say no, because that would be admitting weakness. So that sound is not something that we want to go towards just yet. Sweaty clothes, foreign guard, hunter guard. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. So now I look like this. Rather dapper, rather debonair, and dangerous. Let's see if I can fight this gigantic church dude and win. Look at that! One, two, three, four blood echoes up in the top right. Come on, big guy. I know you're wielding a tree, but let's do this dance. Shiny, uh, typical. Okay, so this big dude sucks, so I'm just going to avoid him. I'll run down here. I don't remember what is down here. Gonna open up his chest. That's closed. All right. See if Victor von Brittlebones over there is willing to dance, because I'm not. 
I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to run. Not because I'm a coward, but because I choose not to engage. Other things I'm going to do. Check out this new crevice. Monocular. So that big blue thing right there, that's not something we can do just yet, but when it happens, uh, it, it's just, it's crazy. It really, it really is crazy. The first time it happened to me, I didn't understand, I was spooked, I was upset. So, what I'm going to do right now is just hurt this. None of these guys gave me what I wanted, which was blood. Will you give me blood, kind sir? Kind sir, right here in the corner. Blood? Blood? No blood. All right, very well. Let's see if I've got enough of these. Almost. What else do I got in here? I got a thick cold blood. Oh, so painfully close. Mm. I I just need ten thousand. That is legitimately all that I need. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to fight Victor Von Brittlebones. And we're just going to hope that that's enough. I'm also going to kill these birds. No? Okay, great. So assuming Victor Von Brutalbo is he's awake. Alright, great. So what that means for Von Power is that this guy is too strong and he's gonna run. He's not he's not doing that. Um, yes, blood ninnies. I, I, I legitimately need these blood ninnies to sacrifice themselves to myself so that I can be better. Better, I mean, don't, but that's okay. He's right outside, and I can beat the shit out of him. Uh, I need to buy a key from the, the small skeletal blood dealers, the blood peddlers, as it were. And, uh, Andrew. What? Nothing's wrong with thee? Two. You're a fucking ninny. Did you get murdered? Oh, thank God, he's got blue eyes. That means he can die. He did die. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh fuck you! Oh no 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 no! Please get back over here. Please be blood echoes. That man's knowledge, I'll take it because you'd have to be mad to fight me. Cinnamon Toast Crunchy Roll. That. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna go up here where the killing's easy. I can operate the device. Man, that was really bad, right, guys? My one nightmare is that he would follow me into the church. And I don't like that idea, because then we'd have to get married. I'd be legally obligated. Please be just... Uh... Alright, so what's going to happen is I'm going to go back down. I'm going to teleport out. Yeah, you, you right. You're right, bruh. I've I've done my fair share of bleeding. So we're gonna go back here. The Joker's in where? Because I don't like the sound of that. Items, key items, the hunter sheet emblem. And we're gonna buy a single blood vial because I'm an adult. We're also going to sell mm, not that monocular, but we're gonna sell all of those coins. Uh, you know what? We're gonna it's not worth it. It's not worth it. All right, but what we can sell is that sweet little sock lever. And that blunderbuss, because we're not going to use those anymore. I'm going to sell my sweaty clothes. No. Porn trousers, slutty. I'll eat a bandage. Whoa. <laughs> not, no, I'm not going to sell my slutty band-aid. <laughs> ah, that's uh, that's subs only. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom, but I will leave quick. All right, gang. Guess who's back? 
No, Shady's not back. Shady wishes he was back. Am I right? Alright, nope, it's Colin. Here to beat up some church goers again. The range on this thing. As the kids say, it slaps. Alright, so this time we can avoid uh, Victor Von Birdbones and go all the way to the top where we flash this shiny handkerchief and the gate miraculously opens, as if in recognition of the shiny handkerchief. And now, now we have what are universally recognized as choices. We can continue on our merry way to the boss, which is what we're going to do. Or we can just, you know, screw around in here for a little bit. Whereas Victor Von Birdbones is like several brothers. Just pick up all the shit that they've dropped over the years in these places. Ow. So there's a guy in here who I hate very, very much. That's him. Not him. That. Thankfully, we killed him in one hit. But otherwise, he will literally eat my face. In like, the nastiest way possible. Like he gets real weird, real invasive. Real quick. Yeah, so what happens is he grabs my face, sprouts a fucking tentacle, and slaps that shit onto my mouth and proceeds to suck out the. If you look in the top right, how uh, there's that little eye there that's 10. That's my insight. That also counts as my sanity. They don't tell you this until later on. Oh, great. I don't know the password. You gotta remember how to get that password. But, yeah. And uh, that he just siphons out all of those little eyes. They're, you know, eyes have a special importance in this game. Uh several players asking for them to be granted eyes as he wants to the back to the front. That's right. Whoa. Okay, okay. Okay, I didn't make it. So there's a back way that I should have taken that I now recognize because there's a dude inside there with the ladder that I need to be at. Other things that I need to be recognized as the prince, the sweetest prince, and the best prince. The third, the peasant. gave me nothing. You. What say you? Give me things. Nope. That's fine. Just flop onto me. Limp as a ragdoll. I care not. Right, so there is a gate around here. It's on the other side. I am Wait a minute. 
Oh, fuck me. That's why I need to go there. No, 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 no. Like I said, there's a back way. This is not it. It should be right over here on the outside of this gate. Yeah, I showed your hand, eh, Fireboy? You hate birds, smash them into the ground. Colin, hating birds, smashes them into the ground. Yeah. I've always found these guys to be weird and faceless. Alright, so, down here, things get a little bit screwy. I can knock on doors again. Oh my, what a queer scent. But I'd take it over the stench of blood and beasts any day. What is it then? I'm off during hunts, so if that's what you're here for, I'll leave you to your own devices. If that doesn't do it, come back in the morning, darling. <laughs> you're right, she did. But the funny thing is, uh... Oh, might you know the night is long, please? Oh, now she please. wants to go to my church. <laughs> yeah, she can worship there. You? For an outsider who's come to church? You what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I think you're a beast. And what? step away from my car, Tom. You know, this, my friend, is like a condo. Let's be real. No. Fuck you, trash ass person. Healed over and gave up. And now that I see that dude over there, I'm going to make him keel over and give up as soon as I check this house out. That's weird. Yeah, so she's literally insane. This guy is just flashed with a gun. And I don't like it. God damn it. Who? Where did you come from? Weirdy. Coming up on me like that. Let's do this dance. So,
damn it, guys. On a positive, though, I can take this guy back to the here. He won't hit me. <laughs> Praise you. Praise the old damn church. And then the best of luck, Hudson. Best luck of all. <laughs> I think that team was struck. Okay, I'll go around those ones. Whatever. Stab that dude. Take a shit. And climb the ladder. Congratulations, folks. We done killed a lot of people. A watchman of Bergenware describes the passage of the password. A secret adage of the Great Cathedral. Do you know what that means? Because I don't. So the transparent guys running around are uh, essentially other players. So the game holds on to like people that have gone this way in the past before or whatnot, and shows you like, how they how they traverse through. In some cases, it's to like just show you like, hey, like there might be something here. Uh, if they're red then those are dudes who went in here to kill another player and it shows you like where they died or where they fought that kind of thing I want to shoot you. Okay, that's fine. Just won't recognize that hitbox then. Alright, and one thing we will do in just a moment. Let's pull up this chick. I think she's pretty cool. And then we're gonna climb up here. Alright, 
into this corpse. I don't think there's anything else up there. got Harriet with us. Uh, yeah, this game is multiplayer. So when I called in people, like this is a, this is a computer controlled unit, but when I ring that other bell and uh, all that noise, that those are actual players who are playing right now who have on a different bell that lets them help me. I'm... Do I help her? She seems to be getting... Getting into some shit there, Harriet. Fuck! I'm done helping her. I am helping her. I am. They say. Done helping her. Go for these doors. That's fine. I just need them cracked. So I can go in here. And those guys just don't. Okay, that's fine too. And now I'm going to let whatever friend I summon hurt this dude. Heck yeah. That's what I wanted. And now, the cooperator, Peachy Wreck, with that fucking wheel. Alright, so you're about to see a really cool weapon. So that wheel is actually a, a fucking strength weapon. And it's brutal. Also, you guys ready to see some horrific shit? I hope so. This is Vicar Amelia. The, like... This is one of the more well-known bosses of this game. The whole idea of the beast blood is the longer you hold on to your humanity, the more of a beast you are when you lose it.
things you can do in this fight is stay behind her, because otherwise she'll just beat the shit out of you like that. Amelia, a terrifying, terrifying bitch. Not as bad as some of the bosses, but hey, here's a skull? Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. So that scene is the split between the Hunters and the College of Bergenworth. The College is a group that researched the Blood Plague and its origins, and Lawrence uh, felt that he learned everything he could from the College at Bergenworth and left to seek out and destroy the source of the plague. We find out what happened to him later. But now, designer, I want to be a better human. I need to be stronger, bloodier, and that's that's going to be how. Very well. Eye of the Blood Drunk Hunter. So now, one thing that we can do is really spook you guys, if you guys want. Um, I'm assuming you want. Boosting that shit. So you guys do want to be spooked? Alright. Then we are going to use all of our madness. And we are going to go back to the Cathedral Ward. Because there's something here for us. Unless I went to the Great Cathedral. Because I don't know. 
and I may have fucked up if I did. BRB. Now that I'm going the right way, any questions so far, anything fun, interesting, dark, spooky, bloody, whatever, that you would like to know? Also, it took, like, so most of the lore in this game is done through, like, finding those little sparkles on the ground or, like, reading item descriptions. And I, I've, I've done a shit ton of all of that. I've gone through like wikis and things. And all kinds of neat shit. All right, so notice how those guys aren't here anymore? That's because we're gonna go right over here and stare deep into the blue. So you guys are getting the accelerated version of this, because this is the DLC known as the Old Hunters. Uh, this is where you pretty much exclusively go through and find all of the Old Hunters. See, like, back here? They ate shit back here. See this? these doors over here? Can't go through them. There ain't no doors over here no more. But there's shit out here. Do you remember how there was that spooky guy in the carriage? Now there's this. So where we are right now is the Hunter's Nightmare. This is the origin of the Beast Plague. This is the... Well... Not the origin of the beast play per se. But like now we gotta fight these like this. Who are fucky and rude. And can just kill me with one hit. I need to I need to like run ahead of a lot of shit in this area because that guy is a pain in the dick to kill. Resting in pieces is all I do. Just kidding. All I do is win, 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 no matter what, what. I'm lighting that lamp. That lamp be lit, fam. Yeah, Eileen the Crow. The Crow Feather Guard. You get it. She is like the game's resident badass because she is what's called the Hunter of Hunters. In that she hunts hunters. Okay. I might be a little too early on to do this because that guy just keeps hitting me with his gun and I'm dying. So we're going to go back to the main game. But basically, 
That's that's where we that's where we're gonna go. That also puts our next boss at something a little different. Yeah, I think both of you would like Eileen the Crow because Eileen, for whatever reason, is very resistant to the beast play to the point where she like she recognizes it. She's seen other people go through those changes and all of that noise, and it has she she hasn't contracted it and she hasn't succumbed to it. She is very very dead on. Uh, as far as retaining her humanity. Yeah, she is, she is a total badass. Uh, she also fights with a weapon called the Blades of Mercy, which are uh, like a machete that actually splits into two daggers, and the weapon itself does arcane damage. So, like, super duper badass. I am hoping that this is the right way, and it is, thank god. So the way that we're going right now leads into... A spooky set of woods. And because I've got a lot of insight right now, like more than I usually would, I kind of wonder if we're going to get some surprises. Yeah, no, I want seven too. But like, all of my friends. Oh, wait a minute. I've got seven fucking badass friends. We're gonna travel along this side of things. Because that guy... Oh shit. But yeah, no, remember how I said like there are worse dogs out there? Those are those are some of them. They're pretty bad dogs. <sighs> Fuck. Depressing. I had higher hopes for myself. In the words of Brendan Yuri, I had high, high hopes. Realistically, I just want to get cooler weapons so I can show them off to you guys. Also, I heard, like, the summoning sound, which makes me worried that we actually are going to get those, uh, those weird, creepy enemies I was talking about that are actually legitimately terrifying. Thank you for all of those blood echoes back. Certainly were a lot of them. Oh, okay, hold on one second. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So that's one dog down.
So those. Those things that I hate. Come on, come on, just get out of here. Those are the worst. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna go and like buy a bunch of healing potions because I'm fresh out, fam. Just completely lacking in the whole like health department. Oh, so melting red man. No, those are those are terrifying, terrifying like sickle-wielding homunculi that are summoned by the boss of this area and will continue to be summoned because I have over 20 insights, which means I am sane to the point where I see beyond like the... Alright, the whole idea is insight, right? It's literal. Insight are eyeballs that have grown on your brain, that are inside of your skull. I wish I were kidding. In this game, that is the case. Um, that's why those, like, brain suckers, the guy that I was freaking out about, uh, they cover your face with their little, like, tentacle, and they take the eyes so that they gain the insight. Uh, but because I have so much insight, I am able to see beyond, uh, what would typically be, like, seen. So, like, the, the big dude, um, that's called an amygdala, the thing that looked like it had a hollow, weird head, and big-ass arms lifted me up, sent me to the netherworld, world, that whole thing. Uh, I can start to see those in the world now. Uh, some of them... I don't think any show up here. But some of them do. And god damn it, I went and didn't buy any health potions. But the whole concept of insight is what connected the uh, College of Bergenworth with discovering, you know, the beast plague, with being able to address that as the source, and et cetera, et cetera. And look, John, away. Yeah, the hunt is uh, essentially the ritual where you contest the uh, the curse. Thank you for one blood vial. One vial of your blood. Shit. Nope. 
Thank you for your patronage. Yeah, no, the sounds in this game, they do not get better. Look at these bodies. What? That was neat. Fuck. Ah, uh, it bothers me. All right, so long story short, when you hear that sound, that means Matt's about to be besieged by one of those terrifyingly lovely bees. God, they're so strong. Yeah, so hopefully you guys are into just the abject horror that this game is, like, very quickly, readily, and consistently able to provide. I know I am. So what we gotta do is go up and around, and you do a loop-de-loop -loop and pull, not through there. Right here, there's a weird little fountain. And this will not only lower my my insight but it'll let me get better armor all over the place so just like that I'm down to 10 I can be happy 40 40 50 40 I'll take that uh, Ashton Jakar, 100, 110. Yeah, right, we'll do Gascon. Gascon. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Now I look like this. Super cool, right? Now, with any luck, that means that I'm dumb enough. So the benefits of higher insight are, there are a couple. One, it means more item drops. Um, another one is that you can uh, you spend insight to summon friends or to uh, like to ring bells to assist people or to gain assistance yourself. You uh, you spend insight to ring those bells. Your 
and really it's just this area that it means more enemies. At least physically more enemies, but that's because this area is full of, like, normal humans. So, like, these people are in the beginnings of the Beast of Plague. They're, uh... Yeah, they're going crazy, but, like, you can... You can kind of see by looking at them, they're not... They're not giving... They they haven't lost it completely to the place. Yeah, like they're, they're elongated and they're weird, but they're still very human. Now let's find out. Sweet. Alright, so I spent enough insight so that I don't have to worry about those monsters being so... This bitch, though... Where's that dog? Is that dog coming? Am I dumb? Yep, there he is! Hello, dog dog. Now... Okay, okay, I'll just get punched. I've been punched before. Like I said, I've been punched before. There we go. Alright, and he just fell right into the steps, which is exactly what I planned for the entire time. Don't question me. That's what we call the stairway straight to fucking hell, you asshole. Closed by a device. What the fuck is a device, you ask? Well, it's the same thing that lets me walk all the way over here and surprise the bitch who's about to surprise me. There's a tall, ugly woman. Now there are birds over here. Actually, a lot of birds over here. They're all right here. These big weird birds. Alright, now I can go on this little elevator. Drop it and get right back on so that it's activated in the future forever. Doo doo doo. Alright, and now we're gonna turn the corner. There's gonna be an evil woman here. Stop hurting me. Stop it. Bone marrow ash. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Ooh! I didn't expect to jump. Or the slam. Oof. 
So, bartender, I'd like a, like a double shot of oof, if you please. The nice thing is, now I can just skiddly do right past everyone here. Right on up here. Well, this, this here lever. She's dead. And then boom! Look at that. We're right back. None of those birds have my life essence. Graves like an idiot. Who'd have thought? That big boy. And I hate him. Strong dislike. I many much wanna punch Have that dude in the mouth. See, they, they try and come for me, and I just stab them instead. It's gonna take more than half of a nursing home to take me out. Now, if it was like three, like three quarters of a nursing home, oh, I'd, I'd be done. Game over. So, new strategy, dash and pass, skipping that dog, going straight for this ladder at the very end of the hallway, because I know this game, thank god. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I need my little light. This little light of mine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it be. All right, now. Again, nobody knows what that old man is doing all the way up there in a wheelchair. No one knows how he got there. No one knows how he'll get down. But that's where he is, and that's where he chose to die. Alright. So now that we're here, we can go out on the roof, where there's a woman with a mallet right here. Come on, Greta. Yeah, I see you. Thanks. Thanks for everything. All right, and now...
kill that bitch. And we bait this big dude. Come here. Have a rock. Now this. This is how you blood board. I don't know that for a fact, I just know that like that's how I prefer to do it. I'm gonna let her be down there. I I don't care about her. Enough. What I do care about is the bitch that's gonna be in here trying to ambush me. See, now that she's dead, I can go down this tower where there are bodies, but we don't question it. these big dudes again. The first thing I want to do is open up this door so I don't have to go out on those roofs again. Ever. That hurt. <laughs> Alright, now the real thing. We're gonna skip this whole hill because I hate all the people on it. And we're gonna go straight for the boss. That's right, this whole hill, it sucks.
<laughs> All right, so now we're going to do what's called the Witch of Hem Hemwick Charm. And by that, I mean we're going to find these witches as they hide invisibly in the dark. And we're going to beat the shit out of them until they give up the ghost. It may not be their ghost, but it's going to be a ghost. So, funny thing is, there are two witches. That's the gimmick in this. They tell you there's one witch, but there are two. That's why it's helpful to have friends. So that you can both beat up a witch. No one knows why these witches stack beds. Think of it as a really juicy secret where there's two health bars, but they only show you the one. Also, they're the reasons these things get summoned. It's best to just avoid them if you can. Sometimes you can't. Like, see, I was hitting that one and its health wasn't going down. That's because it's the ghost one. It's not real. So that one's actually dead now. The other one isn't, and if we don't kill the other one in time, it'll bring back the first. face to be sawed open. It's just what's happening. Okay, so see, now they summon the other one back. And that's going to continue to be a problem for me and my buddy here. Now all these guys are going to be unslaughtered. Look at that. What a boom. Light in the lamp. Here we go. Killing bitches. Cooperator <laughs> has died. Rest in pieces. <laughs> but now I get a rune tool. Isn't that just the neatest? I can be a rune and a tool all at once if I wanted to. I can be anything. Is what?
Yes, as a matter of fact. Scientifically. Alright. I'm just gonna keep boosting that rifle spear. Yeah, that one. That one's really good. That one's better than the first. Alright, sweet. I should repair these two. Let's be realistic. Nope, oh, alright, I guess I didn't need to. But, nonetheless, I buy anything new from this shop. Nothing worthwhile. What about you, other shop? The Arnhem Cat. Oh, the Tomb Prospector shoe is actually worth it, but. I don't think I need any of that. Uh, no. Welcome. What is it? Very All right. Well, let me stand. Also, friends, am I going? Well, I, I guess I kind of made the choice to go skill. But. Indeed. Seventeen, seventeen. There we go. Oh, boom. Now I will hurt. Which is about. I think that's the next bit. Pretty confident. <laughs> gotta lock and load. And then we gotta run up here and kill all of those girls who trifled with us. Trifling. Trifling fools. Oh, there you go. This is a weird thing. Ah, oh, he's gone. Disappeared on me. Feel. Not good, I hope. Okay, so maybe, maybe I'm wrong, and I don't know what happened. Oh, that's why. Right. 
here we are, back at it again, gonna murder some bitches. Let me Google something real quickly because that should have worked. Oh, that's that's it. That's how I fucked up. Okay. In that case, we gotta backtrack. We gotta backtrack just a little bit. You're the wild sister, aren't you? So I can't zoom in on it fast enough, but that's just a mass of faces and heads and arms. It's great. Pretty much everything you expect from like a Halloween store, you know? All at once. I don't need to be here right now. <laughs> Disgusting. Agreed. Agreed. but I haven't much to offer. All I can give is my blood. But would you even take a horse's blood? Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Good. Come close, dear. Don't worry. This isn't the first time. Yeah, I know it's not. So. All right, so now we're gonna whip right around and try and go back back to the past, back to the past, Samurai Jack. Jack, 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 Jack. Oh, that's something I should have opened earlier. Oh, that double stab. The double double blood vial. Gallons up the stump. Got that. Bad man's hat. Good, 
to prepare church, that's what I wanted to happen to everyone. Now. Uh, please. Please tell me I oh wait, yeah, you're here now. Now just tell me. As you know, the healing here we church go. is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Neat. So blood stuff and then bada boom bygan the old place of learning and the tomb of the gods carved out below Yarnum should be familiar to every hunter well once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb this led to the founding of the healing church and the establishment of blood healing in this sense everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth but today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the healing church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. Ah, a bit of wisdom from the eminent master Lugarius. Once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bergenworth and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canaan. Just what is the meaning wait, 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 of this? Wait, 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 don't. Why turn your blade on me? Don't. There must be... Go on. Oh, Just God. tell me what piques your interest. Ah, and it was there. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Canehurst Castle. I bid you felt may the good blood. Alright, so short of me attacking that dude and almost invoking the wrath of Arthur, which, as much of a joke as he is, would have been a, just a a bad time. So, funny story. The guy asking for the password has been dead for ages. And now, friends. We enter the Forbidden Woods. As you know, the Forbidden Woods in the third floor corridor are strictly forbidden. Unless you're me. Alright, so now I need to armor up for poison. Which it looks like I've already done a good job of. All right. Wow. Nailed it. Top score. High marks all around. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I am just going to type this in the chat. 